Hey everybody. So we're heading into the uh, Sabine River tournament right now. Um, there's some challenges with the Sabine is you no know, everybody's kind of in question whether the hurricanes have affected the fish or not over time And it it, it looks like they have because the numbers seem to be way down um, We can fish on the Louisiana side, but only on the main river itself So you can't go into any backwater marsh areas or anything, which is really where a lot of the fish are at right now so uh, just because it's it's April and um, you know they're spawn fry garters of the such, so it's uh, it's fishing really really funny. It's real dirty. The whole system, for the most part, is really dirty, um, and it's just boat in and boat out in the popular areas. So I have not found something off the beaten path yet um, in today's Derby Day. So. A lot of my, um, a lot of the bites that I have gotten have come on just real slow baits. It's actually baby D bomb. I've scaled down so much. We're catching a lot of 10 inch fish, and it seems like the mindset is to scale the bait size down, lighten things up uh, to get bites, to try to catch a 12 inch keeper. Now, this is a tournament to where a 12 inch keeper is a rare commodity, and he is golden. Okay, worth his weight in gold is an understatement on this one for me. And I know it is for a lot of guys too, because you can catch six or eight 10 inches a day, but to catch two or three 12 inches plus, and, and there's a, still a few good fish in here. Now I've, I've caught a couple of two, two and a half to two and a quarter pounders, but like one here, one there, and that's uh, under a very long tournament day where I'm not pushing it. We've had four days of practice as well. I actually think that kind of hurt me because I just, I, I wanted to look at I looked at so much stuff so fast like I normally did and then then I was like okay now where do I go without really stretching out um, there's a lot of water available here you can run to, to Houston if you want and there's a couple of guys that have in the past but there's only certain places there that you can fish because they've put limits on us so Derby day today and I'm just gonna fish with an open mind I'm gonna try my best not to fish too fast um, but at the same time not get tied up in fishing real slow because I don't think the populations is such that you can go into one area and just grind on it you might be able to do that one day you're not gonna be able to do it for four so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna fish and keep things keep things rolling and um, you know it's not a matter it's just a matter of covering water and being in, in just the right general area is what I think is going to roll down so i'm hopefully going to put myself in that place today i'm going to make a little bit of a run about an hour i guess one way and uh we're going to see what happens so day one here we come five four
God, what a giant. Hey, there's a giant around here. <laughs> Woohoo! He scores. Yeah! Nice, man. Good start. I see that was a perfect flip in there, man. It was the perfect flip. <laughs> yeah, it was. You done three times as good as you did yesterday, so hey. seen the first day I had no clue what to do as I had explained earlier and so headed into the second day ah uh, man I was still confused I, I mean I only caught one you know one one keeper the first day not a lot to go on didn't have a lot of bites eight or nine bites most of them short guys tried some new stuff um, and I fished up the netches the first day and way up the netches. Uh, second day, I didn't feel like taking an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, more, maybe more out of my day to run up there was going to be productive for me. I wasn't obviously on or doing the right thing. Um, you know, and 90% and of my stuff was just pitching around, you know, baby D bomb is what I was doing, pitching around, changing different weights, but I kept leaning on that baby D bomb more and more and more. Um, just because I could get him to bite it. I knew I could and sometimes whenever you're struggling To even get a bite even whether you know whether, what no matter what size fish you, you, you just tend to lean on your confidence bait and that, and that was it for me up there and bruiser flash was my best color I tried a lot of different colors had a few bites on and a lot of different things But that bruiser flash and that baby D bomb even though the water was really dirty seemed to really do 
the best for me and had a lot of confidence. I threw a spinnerbait some and, and I caught a couple on it. So the second day I decided just to stay close and I ended up in that square lake area off the Sabine River. It's not very far at all from the ramp. I thought, well, I'm just gonna keep my head down and I'm gonna fish everything in there. I've had some success in there before and, I, and that's what I did. I mean, I, I incorporated the D-bomb, flip a lot of flipping. And I knew that I just needed to put things together at the right tide at the right time. And um, anyway, I should have had a limit the second day. Um, I lost two of the keepers that I had on. I ended up weighing in four, but still no big bites. Obviously that cold me. Um, you know, looking back on that event, the only thing that I probably didn't do is I didn't expand out of my comfort areas enough and I, I mean by that I mean I should have probably tried to run to Taylor Bayou or you know and I even thought about going to Houston one day but man oh man that 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 run on on me was going to be um psychological and brutal although Brock made it work for him you know and um so I don't think that I expanded quite enough. There were some areas where some guys caught some fish. At the end of the day, the term was still a, a really tough derby. I mean, there's just not that many keeper sized fish and especially over two pounds in there. So when the guys that did, you know, that were in the top 10, 15, 20, when they caught one, it, it catapulted you. Now we all were hoping for that. So um, anyway, that's uh that's my take on the sabine and we just get trying to shake shake that one off i, I, I hope we get a drop this year because that one was bad for me and uh you know it is what it is we take those every once in a while on the chin and and we move on with with tournament fishing and and life and uh you know if you do it long enough you're going to experience that and uh, i have and you still don't like it though anyway there it is in a wrap there ain't much footage to enjoy, but I did get you some. <laughs>